well, basically a few, a few things come to mind, you know, but yeah. so just on the back of that, you know, you know, end of last year, I um, invited uh, Breeti Ganga, a Breeti priest, to the UK to do a series of talks and workshops and right. so forth. You know, and between the organising itself, you know, he had a, he had a translator, you know, because he doesn't speak in English, you know, and right. he had a translator. And there's issues with the translator, you know, in their, in their travelling. So I was wow. like, look, man, it's not a problem because, like, we've got many people in the UK that speak French, you know, because he's a French-speaking brother. He also, some Gabon speaks Gabonese, you know. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. You know, we even either Gabonese or French or someone who can speak both the languages yeah. and we're rocking and rolling, you know what I'm saying? Right. You know, once we put that over, he, like, he came back as like, nah, it's not like that, man. You know, it was like, yeah, they can know the language, but within the spiritual system that we practice, there's words and <laughs> things that, you know, it's not for the layman, you know what I'm saying? Exactly. <laughs> need to be in the thing basically you need to be exactly in the thing to know what you know what's going on exactly. so you know and that applies in all societies in all associations where they exactly, ex exactly. You know? and that's where secret societies and all that all, all that is you really got it you got it you no, got it you, 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 you're on the money that that's where it is that's that's why these these practices one had to be initiated you have to go through a certain rites of in, uh, initiation mm. you know uh, um in order to, you know, they take you through the stages, you know what I'm trying to say? Because it's like, there's just certain words and certain understandings of things that, you know, it, it, when you've come to understand it, it's like, wow, this is like, this, this is some, this is some next level stuff. It's, this ain't for the average layman. So yeah, you, 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 and, 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 I, I, and, and again, I think it's in, I don't think it's just an English thing or Western thing, but I think for a lot of us in world, we may be thinking in layman's terms, you see, because that's what we use mainly in our day-to-day -day right. life and our work and going, going back and forth. We're using layman language, layman understanding. For the priesthood who's in that, that that's his everyday life. That, 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 that initiation, that secretive, that, that deep, that's what he does every day, 24-7. Mm -hmm. So as far as, it's, it's, it's two different worlds. So you, one has to learn how to form some kind of a bridge on some kind of level where you're bringing that information to the layman for the layman to understand and vice versa. But mm. either way, it, it, you, can't, you can't get all of it. It's almost like you've got to dive in there. You, you've sure. got to be a part yeah. of it. You've, yeah. got, you've got to immerse yourself in it on some kind of level. Yeah, you can get a very good you know, outlook and structure of what it is and how it looks and what it's about and what what it can't do but you've really got to like immerse yourself in it in some kind of way you know um it's a difference like it's even like even maybe even like doing the the mushrooms or, or whatever or, or you know what i mean you, 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 man could talk about mushrooms but are you doing it <laughs> that brother kalinda used to say it's all right you man's writing a book about it and stuff the theoretical part, yeah, okay, cool. The work, that's necessary, it's needed, you know what I'm trying to say? But mm. going into it, doing it, is a, is a total different thing. You've got to immerse yourself in that, you know, in that, whether that culture or that, that school of thought, and that's where you really start soaking it, um, uh, uh, you know, so, soaking it all up. So it's, 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 it's a huge, uh, I'm aware that there's, you know, different schools of thoughts and huge consciousness that's, happening for you know amongst our people and uh, uh uh you know just throughout the whole world you know uh, um people of various ages you know uh, various groups various races all connecting coming together now there is we can sense definitely that there is a collective consciousness that there's, there's a shift on some kind of level and again even like what's happening now even in terms of uh, what we're seeing in the world, now with the whole COVID nineteen and lockdown and stuff like that, some, we, we, it's like we 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 want to take flight. We want to move to the next level. We want to get a, a, a greater sense of um, uh, you know who we are and connect to something greater, wider, deeper. All right, all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut it right there because we're gonna get to all of that, bro. We're gonna get yeah. to all of that, yeah. <laughs> definitely. And if we get there today, that is all moving forward. Simply, yeah, yeah, no worries. What this has mainly been about for me and engaging, it's been beautiful what you've been sharing because what I've got out of it, I was speaking with David yesterday, who I've known for like nearly 30 years and, you know, 
Right. All the people are people that I've known for, you know, over a decade, you know what I'm saying? And right. capacity or another. But what I've been learning is that there's just still a lot that I don't know about the people who I work with and grow with and develop with them. And yeah, yeah. So this is an opportunity <laughs> to do that. So you've, you know, you really relayed your, you know, that journey from being a boxer to an astrologer. I think that's what I might label this title, this <laughs> <laughs> the title, uh, you know, title of the talk from boxer to astrologer. And um, there's a lot in it. Maybe pick up the pen and just write a few notes. But this is before all the people, man, because I love the people. I've all got the people doing the yeah. you know, sharing and disseminating the information, yeah. you know, using this platform. But this has really been about, for me, in trying to support others, because we want to find more about Israel and inspirations and, you know, this, yeah. that and the other. Before we get to the, you know, the, the, the picture, because I remember, you know, just even, even as a music fan, you know, you've got artists that you're listening to, you know, as a fan growing up, and like, it's just curious, right? I wonder what inspired them, you know? Oh, yeah. I wonder what they eat for breakfast, you know? I wonder, <laughs> you know, because these are the things that, you know, you know, like help, you know, pick the pieces and, you know, in, in, put, put the pieces in place. Yeah. You know, saying that to say, you know, um, like I said to Davis, I don't know how many times he's been interviewed in yourself and different shows and platforms, yeah. like your own radio show. But I wanted to make sure that what we're talking about, what we're covering, is just stuff that isn't just commonly what's being out. I don't yeah, want to yeah, yeah, same yeah, old, yeah, yeah, definitely. The same old, same old. Yeah. So there's loads that come out of that because I had a conversation yesterday with her sister by way of Ghana. So her story of coming, being born here, going back to Ghana, coming back to the UK, you know. Yeah. So I'm trying to get more into, you know, just like our lives growing up in the UK yeah. and back and forth and, you know, stuff like that, just, you know, as in some of the fundamental things that have got us to where we're at today. Yeah, yeah. Over the weeks, if we're doing this, you know, we'll be going back and forth. But I've got a few things there that I definitely want to cover before we go, because the astrology thing is definitely something we need to get into. And yeah. I'd like to spend a little time on that, but I want to leave that as close to the end as possible. Yeah. And you can tell us how to get in touch with you, because I'm sure, well, I know you've got your yeah. Instagram, your videos and stuff like that. So yeah. people can find out more about the astrology from you. Directly. Oh, yeah, yeah, definitely. definitely. Yeah. I want to talk about other stuff as well, in addition to astrology, but I want to have a few other things that I know that you're gifted with knowledge, you know, to share. Yeah. With, you know, that people may not be them familiar with you from that perspective, they might just know, oh, Israel's the astrology guy, ain't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> there's, still, there's still a lot yeah. more. But before we go there, even still, I just want to um, acknowledge because the second question I normally ask is, you know, with people like, how did we meet? How did we connect? And all the, you know, all the rest yeah. of it. And um, yeah. I know how that is. But some, it depends on who they are. It's like, can I actually remember? And can you remember? But yeah, yeah, yeah. You remember yeah. you brought up the, you know, the, the 777 event. Yeah. I don't know if that was the first time. I, mean, I think I'd met you before then, just by way of the black hole. That's what I call it, man. The black hole. Yeah, yeah, Rosanna, yeah. Rosanna, Rosanna Shop, you know. Yeah. More art books, Clarence Road, as you mentioned. And that's basically a catalyst for many of us in the community here in the UK, yeah. whether we acknowledge that or not, you know, um, yeah. whether she had hands-on direct influence or was one yeah. of the people in, around, we know that what's taken place in the UK, especially amongst the African Caribbean community, UK, I will say, yeah, yeah. Played a, you know, a very a big, you know, a big, a big part in that. So I want to give her a shout out and acknowledge yeah, her. I'm trying, to get her. I'm trying to get her on there in, you know, in the coming days as well. Yeah. <laughs> that might be a hard one, bro. <laughs> Between the two of you, man, I was like, if I can pin one of you down, I'm gonna pin the other one down, and we'll like we'll get we'll, we'll get it going, man. But what I do want to do, I just want to kind of reflect because for me that was like you know that's kind of like the golden era for us, man. You know, there was a period in time where you know, like you were just talking about. Yeah. Oh no, definitely, no doubt. You know, when you was talking about, you know. um you know, just, just those key points, like those milestones, you know, in life. Are you there? You look like my screen's frozen with you, man. All right, screen's frozen. All right, just give it, maybe give it a second. I can hear you, it's slowly coming oh, back in. Let's see what's happening. Lost you. Ah, okay, yeah. Okay. So, um, what was I saying? Yeah, basically, oh, you there? Oh, you there? I've lost you again, bro. If you got me, I've lost you, man. Whatever you've done, messed it up. So, are you there? Oh, you're frozen again. Hello? Yeah. Hello. I can yeah, hear yeah, you. yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, don't touch anything. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Hands up, man. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, I'll just say, like, just in general, as far as, you know, the role that Rosanna's played, man, and she pulled many people together through that space and place yeah. known as Moata Books and, like, the way she done it, opened up the space to you, myself, yeah. and others, connect, build, do our thing. Like, she cannot, yeah, she cannot, she cannot not do this and, you know, get her, yeah, yeah. Get her shine and stuff. Exactly, exactly. But, um, I was going to know, like, what was your view? You know, when you, like, coming in, you know, you know, your, your first experience of coming into, um, you know, connecting with Rosanna. Seeing yeah. Him, you know, he was off, you're from Northwest London, you know what I'm saying, at that time. Yeah. When I met you, he was more South. He was out doing stuff in South London. The South, yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah cause I made, I made, uh, well, actually, it, it, that was correct because it, it was actually during that time I was made. I've lost you. West, right? when I first met I was still, in, but it was like within like a, a space of about six, seven months within that period, I was there, I was made into transition to South London and right. then I moved to South London. So, um, uh, South, South East. Um, so it was during that. So there was a house movement period also between that as well. But the first time I went to, I was still like in Northwest, mm. you know what I'm trying to yeah. say? I mean, I was going South a lot and I was, cause I'd always been affiliated with South. I grew up in South, Southwest. Live, you know, family still in Southwest with my sisters and stuff like these nieces. So I still got like friends again in Southwest London. So I've always kind of been a South kind of guy, even though when I was living outside of South London, I was always, always coming back. But the thing is, is I'll be honest with you, I've never really been an East London person. <laughs> no, no biasness or nothing like that. It's not, no, not that I've got any enemies there or anything. It was just never, nothing ever, had ever brought me there to, not for anything, you know what I'm trying to say? Uh, what, to this day, I can't tell you why I was on Clarence Road. Gotcha. What, what drew me to that shop? Yeah. I think as a matter of fact, I might have, quote unquote, got lost. And I think I was just walking down the road and thought, oh, I'll come to a bus and I'll find a bus going to an area where I'm going. It was yeah, something yeah. along that nature. Yeah. 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 It's like yeah. I got on the wrong bus and got off the wrong stop and I just started walking. Because I remember like, I was just walking down and I just like walking to Sister Rosanna's shop. I was like, because I just saw books. Yeah. Yeah. Saw books. I didn't even see them because when you walked in, the tapes were, they used to be behind, the, like near the door on, on, you know, on the right hand side. Mm -hmm. I just saw a whole heap of books and I was being me being a bookman and she had books outside as well. <laughs> So I remember just like looking at the books and it's like, oh, I saw a few books that caught my eye, you know, spiritual crystals, you know, that kind of thing. I was like, oh, okay, cool. And I remember just asking her, oh, have you got any books on Judaism? And, and she was like, yeah, she goes, I've got a few. She pointed a few out, but they weren't like the Jewish ones that I were kind of looking for. I think I was looking for something a bit more like spiritual, more like on the spiritual aspect. I think she had like books more about maybe like, more about like the Judaism and stuff like that so it was kind of I remember like looking at them but it wasn't really what I wanted I was looking mm -hmm. for a bit more I was looking for like the Kabbalah and Jewish mysticism and all that kind of I was looking more for that and but just looking and then I remember just looking I saw like books of Martin Luther and you know what I'm trying to say it's like okay and then I saw the tapes so I'm seeing the tapes on all the titles of the tapes so he it's fair, and I'm thinking, wow, well, like, oh, it's this, this, this stuff, you know what I mean? So I'm picking it out. I remember Dr. Ben Yokan, and he's the first one that, 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 that he was, if anything, that was like the, the step in, like the first one, like, who, who, he was the one who kind of broke me out of the, because for me, I was like, Judaism was the first religion. If they're the first religion, that's got to be the first people. They've got, there's nothing outside of that. So, he was the one that broke that kind of mindset in me, like, no, nah, like, them Jews got that from Egypt. <laughs> the Egyptians were there before the Jews or whatever. Whatever the Jews are claiming that they have, they got it from. And I, and I remember there was even a period that around that time that survey when I heard, like, a, a Dr. Yokanan lecture, and he was breaking it all down, like, Egypt was the first, and they had the first thing, and I was like, and I went to the rabbi and I grilled him. <laughs> and I says, I thought we would have felt like, like the, you know, like the, you know what I'm trying to say. And, yeah. But what, what it, but interestingly. What did the rabbi say? No, yeah. The, so this was what the interesting thing was. He goes, he goes, he goes, he goes, no, like we, we don't, we're, we're not claiming we're the first people. 
he, 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 what, what his argument was, was saying, he was saying that we're not claiming we're the first people. He's just saying that there was just a period in time, there was, there was people there before. He, he, was, he was actually laying claims that there were people there even before the Adam and Eve. But he was saying like the Adam and Eve were just, they were selected in a way. They were made or created and selected in a way to put sort of like in the Garden of Eden. Because he was, he, I remember him saying to me like, that, that's, that's why the Garden of Eden was fed. It was it, 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 like, if you read it it, it, was, it was sort of like fenced around. It was mm. barricaded in some way. He goes, well, why do you think it was barricaded? Because because there's people out, outside. You know what I'm trying to say? And it goes the part where it says, oh, like um, when, they, when they got kicked out of the Garden of Eden and stuff like that. And it, uh, when Cain killed a a Abel and he said to him that, oh, you know, wherever you go, people are going to see this mark on you and know that mm -hmm. you're a murderer mm -hmm. or whatever. Mm -hmm. Who were those people that he was referring to? So mm -hmm. the, the rabbi made it clear. He said, that, no, there, was, there were people. He's not saying that it weren't people. He goes, they were. It goes that, but we're just taking our, our faith predominantly from like the Abraham. You know, Abraham is sort of like, that's why Abraham is always looked upon in Judaism is like the, the father of Judaism, mm -hmm. one can say. Mm -hmm. But they're trying to say that their lineage is kind of coming from there. So he didn't actually disagree. So even with the Egyptians, he said, yeah, you know, their man, they were, they were doing their thing. You know what mm -hmm. I'm trying to say? What, what he was saying is they were doing their thing, but he, he was, his argument was, from a Judeo-Christian perspective, his argument was that they weren't, they, they, they weren't necessarily righteous. You know what I'm trying to say? They weren't following the, the, the laws of oh, what they should have been. Yeah. They were living outside of, so obviously that's how, that's his, that was his spin on it and his understanding of it, one could say. But, um, but he was saying that, yeah, no, no, there, there, were, there, there were people that were thinking and obviously they were building, you know what I mean? So building all those, like, you know what I mean? And, you know, uh, um, building, like, the pyramids and stuff like that. You know, he goes, yeah, that, 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 <laughs> yeah, that, that stuff was going denied. on. You know, <laughs> to say, like, was, so what he was, his argument, he wasn't disagreeing with me. He was like, yeah, no, it's, it's, yeah. You know, it's, it's bang on the money. Like, you know, yeah. you no know, two ways about that. That's why I have to give people like Dr. Ben, Bobby, Phil. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, no, definitely, definitely. They're all like, just, Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? All Although, all like we said, it may have been taken and fantasized in some areas and exaggerated even, you know what I'm saying? It's to make definitely. us feel good. But nonetheless, I, go, I always tell people, if you stick with the principles and if you do your Googles and you do your own research anyway, you, you should know that truth and make principles is half truth is half false isn't it? exactly, so, exactly. Like you're not you're not ex you shouldn't have expected that to be the truth the whole time exactly exactly you should critique you should scrutinize you, should, you know even your own teachers your own teachers. yeah yeah because you know how else are you going to grow develop and all the rest exactly of exactly and to be quite honest i mean i'm totally guilty like uh, i i have to admit even for those first years you know i was i was somewhat dogmatic that that was it that, that, that if dr ben's teachers that was it like that's the, he's got it like this is it the, you know there ain't nothing outside of this and i was i was preaching that and i was pushing that and you know what i mean and then the bobby you know what i mean and then it's when i got onto the more bobby hemmett phil valentine because mm. they were kind of more dealing things from a metaphysical that perspective from the kind of thing that kind of broke that that mm -hmm. it broke kind of like the Dr. Ben, ben your canon mode. Even though they, they, they still pay homage to him, yeah, and there yeah. was no disrespect, they still pay homage to him like he's a foundation in terms of bringing certain consciousness. But I, I then started to realize that, ah, this is just another school, it's another level, basically. There you go, man. It's always wider look. than this. Yeah, this for me, again, not school. in that way, but it's like, you don't stay in nursery school forever, innit? You go exactly. nursery school, primary, exactly. second, you know, and you work exactly. your way up, and it's just part of that journey. And, um, there's some people that come in and that's where they start. They can fast track and get, you know, up I, into, you know, yes, exactly, six, yeah. 10 or whatever they call it yeah. now. You know, and that's how it goes. But just, you know, just to give Rosanna just right up, that's what I think she really brought that was unique to the whole movement. She ushered oh. in, especially in the UK, the whole metaphysical. Oh, she connected so, everybody. All the other groups and organizations and shops and yeah. all the rest of it um, were basically history class. You know, yeah. and nothing is like, as you said, we was in history class. We needed history yeah. class a exactly. few that time. But exactly. once you've done history class a few times, you're like, well, what's next? I really feel that Rosanna was the only one as far as yeah. having a, a resource, a place where you could yeah, access yeah, yeah, yeah. that yeah. was actually yeah. presenting that yeah. for the most yeah, exactly. part. Um, and, you know, we're making it happen, you know, and she, yeah. all the metaphysical speakers and esoteric, she was like, because I didn't know who she was. You know, I just yeah. saw the flyers. I was going to Marifa Books up in Bradbury Street. Right, Boston, right, right. That was yeah. my local when I first was. Yeah, yeah. 
I was going there. That was that was a Pan African, you know, not a but that was just a con Pan African Congress movement you know, right. operation. Yeah. So that's what the material inside it was geared around. Although yeah. there was some spiritual esoteric stuff in there, but as you know, you go into Rosanna shop, you bust the right and all them tapes there. All the tapes, exactly. You just need to look at the title and you're like, yeah. I've never heard of titles like this. Like, where is this being pulled from? You know? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Whether it was, you know, Bobby, Phil, Delbert, Blair, and it was, yeah. just, you know, it, it was just all there. So yeah. I really acknowledge the fact that I was also in that place of going into that shop, getting sucked in, not knowing. I've had a very similar situation to you. It's like, what the hell is happening right now? Right, yeah, exactly. <laughs> in Rose and the Shop, it's those moments like where you've you got to look around and just rub your eyes. And yeah, 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 exactly. Like, what's this a dream? Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Madness, yeah. 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 yeah, there's definitely a lot of that going for a yeah. lot of people. I'm sure Galactic Clive will say the same because he ended up, I know that was his first time doing anything at Rosanna's that day. Yes, well. it was, it was, it was, it was. And, and the thing was is I'd met him once, Galactic Clyde, mm -hmm. a couple months even before that, down Catford. Okay. Because I, I was selling like the CDs. Yes, yes, in the market. I had a, like, a CD yeah, store, yeah. so I had a little stall up in Catford and I was, where my store was, it was in front of a, like a food shop. Caribbean yeah. food shop, yeah, yeah, yeah. and 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 he came. But what it was is there was this sister. There was there was basically where 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 my store was just across the road. There was this place, and it was um it was for uh, 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 black Afro Caribbean people. But basically, it was a it was a place where like if you were having problems, maybe certain people who was having mental problems or mental issues or homeless or so, any kind of issues like that where you needed help in society or you needed help maybe finding your way or whatever, it, that was a place where you went. So they looked after people, you know, like homeless people would go there, you can buy food really cheap, like maybe for like two pounds or something like that and they'd feed right, you. Right, right. And it was, it was like, a, like a centre where they all used, like people, different people go, everyone had their own little different issues. But there was a sister who used to go there and this sister basically put, put it on plate my, this girl was, she was nice. Basically, my mum wanted to, <laughs> my wanted to be with my sister. You know, was, that, that's, that's what I was on. I ain't, ain't going to lie. My mum was, they were, but it wasn't just me. It was like, there was bear man, like, oh, like, you know, who's this? And the funny thing is, the sister's passed now. Okay. Which is a shame. And she had a little son. Uh, she, had a, she had a son. And she called the son Ashe. Okay. And I share we know is the, the word like that means so be it power that is used obviously in the Yoruba religion. So she mm -hmm. called him Ashe. So I, I remember I, 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 when I first met the sister, she didn't, I didn't see her with the son. She didn't have the son. Maybe someone else was babysitting. But I was trying to flirt with her, jump on her, mm -hmm. try and get her number, mm -hmm. the usual thing. And she was like, look, I'll see you around. And if it's meant to be, it's meant to be, you know, that kind of thing. But Sister was like, oh, God, man, I've got to get with this sister. You know what I'm trying to say? That's what, that's what was on my mind. But then I saw her with, Cl with Clyde. Okay. At the first day I saw her with her son, it was actually with Clyde. She was like, she, he, was like he was still a bit young, like a year, two years old, and she had a pram. So she was like pushing the pram, mm -hmm. he was in the pram. So then Clyde was there as well. So I met Clyde. And then, because I'd spoken to the sister about, like, astrology and, you know, tarot, we were speaking about spiritual stuff, stuff that I was into kind of thing. And I remember she, they came down, I was at the store, and she goes, oh, you two should talk. And, and I, he, he, she, goes, she goes to me, because oh, he's into, like, astrology. She was telling yeah. me, like, oh, Clyde's into astrology and he's into the Kabbalah and stuff like that. And I goes, oh, really, brother? And that was the first time I met him, so we shook hands. And he even had a, le a leaflet there and he, he opened it up and it was the Kabbalah tree. He goes, oh, you know what this is? And I goes, yeah, that's Kabbalah tree. That's the, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yod, Yesod, all that, all that. And he's like, oh, so he goes, you know, they're connected to the planets, right? And stuff like that. And I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And we were a little <laughs> talking, but we didn't talk much. We talked maybe for about like 10, 15 minutes. Mm. And then he went again with the sister. So they, cause they made me thinking, like, right, maybe brother's on it. Like, maybe brother's got the sister you now. I'm trying to say, like, no chance for me. Like, I'm, I'm still looking at the competition <laughs> thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> so it was quite interesting when I, like, months, couple months later, then I saw him at the talk of the 777. Yeah, bro, as I said, that day, I remember, because for me, up to now, still, like, it's made me think about it a lot, like, and how deeply we were into it in that scene, in that movement at the time, like, that was like the UK's time because, you know, 
Remember at that yeah. time, it's like after 9-11 and the US and they was doing all their synchronicity. Exactly. It was just, it shifted consciousness, as you know. Once the, you know, once the, it lit the Twin Towers, America changed, didn't it? It was never the exactly. same ever again. Yeah. And it was like, yeah. we was having our version of that, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, was exactly. Through the motions. And it was like, exactly. like, similar to like now, you know, where it's like a lot of people step up, you know, to be counted. A lot of people yeah. got there for, you know, there was just a lot. Yeah. It was never the same again, you know, especially yeah. in London. And then um, at that time, what I think it does more, well, I think what it did definitely do, it brought out all the code breakers. It brought out yeah. the brothers and the sisters who yeah, were, yeah, yeah. whether yeah. they were channelers, whether they were tarot readers, like yeah, people yeah, were exactly, like, like, exactly. up and like yeah. whether they were being pushed and nudged by a sister Rosanna, you know what I'm saying, yeah. or whether they got their call and it was like, yeah, boom. And for me, that period of time, because again, I was deep into the knowledge, and um, but I hadn't found my place within the I, I community, yeah, yeah. so to speak, you know what I'm saying? I was just basically a punter. I just used to go to the different bookshops, buy books, DVDs, tapes. And, yeah. You know, and one day I felt, I remember feeling honored. I'm going to tell Rosanna this. I remember going, so I was just literally a punter. And I remember going past there one evening and like, let's say the clock shut closed at six o'clock. I must yeah. have gone there, you know, it was like 20 past six. So I'll see if it was open. And yeah. I got there and the door was, the door was locked, but I could see people Still in it, you know, like the second part. It was because of like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the shop was two parts, and you had the back room. Back, yeah, back, yeah, exactly. Was kind of like in the second part, in the middle section, I was like, oh shit, it's locked. It's a nice lock call, like, see, like later on. And like as I was walking away, now she just opened doors, like, no, nah, no, nah, you can come in, in it, like you're you're one of us, kind of thing. It was one of them. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah like, what's going on there? <laughs> and then it's like, boom, and that was the first day I realized that it was the black hole. Whatever time it ended up being. Like, yeah. Exactly. Everything exactly. breaking down and building, and, you know. Yeah. So um, I know we've come a long way. A lot has happened, and what it done for me, no, after definitely. In that seven 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 event, which we can touch on when we get into astrology in a bit, because I'm looking at the time, and I know we've got about twenty five minutes left officially of that two hours you were saying. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, we got we got the time. No, we we got time. But, um, we'll push it. But yeah, what it done for me in my in my place during that period, because I remember sitting in the audience and I was there helping to do the filming. And, you yes. know, and that yes. was like then a big part of me deciding, do you know what? This needs to be documented. Uh, yeah. No way this stuff can just be in the in this back room. Yeah, yeah, yeah 10, exactly. 15, 20 people or whoever. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. That's like the DVDs and videos I was picking up from the States and all the rest. I was thinking, it's my yeah. time to get on getting this together. And that was kind of my way in. in yeah, exactly. Uh, it's going to get documented. I've got a camera, you know, I can film all this. I've got projects that I can utilize the resources and you were like, you know, we've used it. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're doing, and that's, you know, how I started recording and documenting and yeah. you know, what she was doing in the back there. And then um, I think it was, you know, between getting the, I remember with Rosanna in particular, it was her or me actually asking her after getting that, uh, an, a Bobby t- a tape, because she, yeah. what Rosanna done, she kind of hurt, for me, it's like her reading or divination is basically the things you come in and ask for. So the books you ask for, the tapes you ask for, the titles you ask for, she then does her divination and then told you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was really like, yeah, you need this in your life. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. <laughs> oh yeah, she was like many others pushing their metaphysical stuff. Like, you're, you're, yeah, you're, you move past this big class and yeah, yeah, no, definitely, the metaphysical definitely, stuff, definitely. Stuff, man. And that was, you know, that was a big shift. That was the period of me getting into, you know, that same time period of like yeah. taking it seriously, man, like. There's so many years I can quote. There's so many, you know, um, debates we can have about the origins of the Bible. Exactly. Or the, you know, yeah, yeah. Kind of it's there. Like when she was like, yeah. Great, yeah, giving the information, the resources to a whole new world. Is that you know, there was no turning back after that. Yeah, yeah, no, but definitely. Led to me actually, then documenting you. You know, you being in the same house, I was filming, and I was thinking I need to pull those out and we can push them online and stuff. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, do you know what? I people to this. They, um, you there? I'm here. Oh, yeah. You frozen, but I'm here. Yeah, 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 yeah for real. Um, I still get people to this day, not just now and again, who sort of like say, "Yeah, you, you was the one who did the 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 the, the thing there with the the, the divination," and um, yeah. I still get people still making references to uh, me Bobby. and Bobby Hemmett in the British yeah. Museum. Yeah, yeah, yeah in the British know, Museum, and they go, "Oh, you were the one talking with me." <laughs> And, Bro, and I've also, traveled the world now and got feedback on that. Like random places you'd be well, surprised. Yeah. And like I'm thinking, people are like, yeah, I know. Like, I remember I was in the States, so I'm randomly in the States and some Yankees. Exactly. Why myself somewhere? I was like, I know you, man. I know you. 
<laughs> so you don't know me now because like, I'm here visiting, I'm traveling. <laughs> like, I might look like somebody you know. He's like, yeah. oh, bro, you was on the DVD with Bobby Hemmett and yeah. da, 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 da. Yeah. And I'm like, right, how random yeah. is that? Like, you know, it's like, it's really, really is. And every now and then I'm reminded. It's crazy, them, it's crazy. Like, and you can see that on YouTube now, and they got like, they're, you know, they're in the tens of thousands of hits when you look at all of the DVDs. You know, that period, yeah. you know, between 2005, six, up until like yeah. eight, nine, you know, there's a good few years where it was like, yeah, the speakers were coming over, we were doing our stuff. Exactly. There, but, you know, exactly. there was a lot of content created. So, oh, yeah, definitely. Kind of, that's what I'm, you know, we're, that's why I've decided to do it again, revisit it, revisit you know, work with the same yeah, no, people, definitely. see definitely. where we're at, what's that like, maybe. 50, however many years later. Yeah, yeah. Seeing, seeing where, seeing where we're at. See, we'll see, see where we're at, what, what, what the growth's happened, you know what I mean? So, um, yeah. no, 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 no doubt, it's, it's, you, you know what I mean? But two things, bro, I really want to touch on, because like, the whole thing was like, before we get into you doing astrology, tarot, because we will get there, you know, in, 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 in the next time that we speak and stuff. But there's two yeah. things I really want to cover. One, it's more to do with you, your background about the Yoruba. I'm really curious you yeah. hear more about the Yoruba side and your growing yeah. up in that or revisiting that later on in life yeah. as well as this whole the whole Jewish thing because I've never heard of outside of yourself you know the Jewish Yoruba connection in some way or another and how yeah. how, is that, how is that and how yeah. did you compliment was it contradictory growing up like how did you see that and then yeah. on top of that because of the Dr. Ben connection and that and Dr. Yeah. Ben making reference to these black Jews and that type of stuff, the original Jews. Again, that's still old news for us, but still not many people have heard of that. So yeah, yeah ex exactly. Yeah, basically go there with me. You're about original yeah. Jews, black Jews, and how that yeah. all comes out. Yeah, man. Well, well, that comes from my uh, 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 great grandmother because in Judaism it goes through the mother's lineage. Right. So on my side of the family, uh, uh, my great grandmother was um you got the ethiopian so that's the part that was the part that linked the, well, I, so when thing used to tell when because that's when the thing used to talk when dr ben used to talk about him being like the ethiopian i totally i, I know where he was coming from because he's part of the falasha the, who, they termed the falasha when they airlifted them into israel mm -hmm. that's where the the falasha the term falasha because falasha that, that's why they didn't they said that we shouldn't refer to them as falasha because the word falasha means stranger Mm. And so that's why they saw it as a bit derogatory, you know what I'm trying to say, okay. uh, um, when, they, when they moved them to Israel. But he was, from, basically, he's from that same tribe as where my mm. great-grandmother was from. So okay. because in Judaism, it goes through the mother's lineage, mm. any child being born through that lineage is, is automatically Jewish. Okay. But because, obviously, they, she's married my grandfather, who's Nigerian, so they've just kept that, you know what I'm trying to say? So obviously, the father's side of the family is all Christians, you know, Christian, you know, different Christian, whatever churches that they go to. Uh, and then my, through the, my mother's uh, side of the family, they, they so many also as well, but they still kind of kept like the Jewish traditions, some of the things that you think, oh, well, that, that's, not, that's not Nigerian, that's, that's not Yoruba. Like, well, what's, what's, what, what is this? And it was like, oh, so growing up, there was just certain things that was like, oh, that's, 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 that's not, that's not, you. What, what is this? This, this, this ain't your body. This ain't, what, what, what was that? Oh, yeah, I think you used to do that because, yeah, in the Judaism, that's what, that's what it is. And, you know, so, so the things was there, but it was mainly growing up, the, the earlier years were more all Christian. It was just Christian, going to church. You know that kind of thing. That's what that was my first introduction. Reading the Bible, that kind of thing. There, I didn't. The word Judaism was being flying around, but it wasn't. Came up to the teenagers actually, like during that stuff again, like you know, just coming out of prison and just like that. Finding out that's where the whole Jewishness now started to really kick in. That like, oh, what 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 is this? And then boom, 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 and it's like, oh, yeah, that's just old. Nobody practices that in the family, and, mm. you know, but me saying, like, okay, what's, what, yeah, but which one is, you know, and I remember, like, um, as, um, um, and it was interesting because this guy was a Muslim, you know what I'm trying to say? And I, I remember, like, in, in the family, and I was talking to him, and he said to me, he goes, I think it was, like, my cousin or, 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 or in laws, and he was saying to me, he goes, yeah, yeah, he goes, bro, Judaism's the first one. I'm like, what? 
Yeah, and he was a Muslim because I, I, I thought that he was going to be saying, oh, no, like, Islam's older than Christianity or was first or whatever. But he was like, no, no, Judaism was the first one. He goes, Christianity came out of that. Islam came out of Christianity. He goes, Judaism's the first, out of three organized religions, Judaism is the first one. So I was like, oh, really? And, he, and so, but basically his argument was just that Judaism was the first, but he was saying like some of the teachers just got corrupted and because they got corrupted, that's where like the whole Christian and then the Islam thing came along. So he was saying that's what Muhammad came to do, came to just tidy up the stuff that was corrupted. He yeah. goes, but we still, he goes, that's why we read the Bible. That's why we, we, we believe in Moses and Abraham and all those old yeah. Jewish yeah. kind yeah. of like folklore. We, we, we subscribe to it because you know, we, we acknowledge that that, that that is the first. They were there first. So I was thinking, well, if they're first, why ain't man practicing that? So I'm just putting two and two together. I'm thinking, if that's the first thing, go to the origin, you know what I mean? And they said, oh, well, then the oldest language is Hebrew. And I was, I'm thinking, well, go to this. Yeah, there's no, there's no argument. So that's what made me kind of fixate on the Judaism. I was going like, synagogue every week. Listen, every day. Got gotcha. you.